Greetings all, this is Dame Fuxa, and I'm going to showcase a game that many people should be very familiar with. And that game, of course, is Hover. So Hover was a video game that was included on a CD-ROM version of Microsoft Windows 95 operating system, and it was to showcase uh, the advanced multimedia capabilities available on personal computers at the time. The game itself was basically a combination of like bumper cars and capture the flag, and you know, it was a lot of fun for like, you know, for playing it. Recently, Microsoft actually released like this sort of online version of Hover, and it's basically a remake of that game. So I figured, you know, why not to show, showcase it just to show you guys what it's all about. Anyhow, we're gonna jump into single player here. And you have option um, options for free like hovercraft to choose from. You have like the Chicago here, which is basically um, a sort of mix of like high stability and a little bit of power and agility, but has very low speed. You also have access to the wizard, which is basically, you know, very good power and very good agility, but it's got very average speed and like little stability. And then of course, he's also got the Bambi here, which is, uh, you know, essentially, um, I guess, um, probably the craft of the original hover game. And it basically has high agility, high power, high speed, but absolutely no stability. Anyhow, I think what we're actually gonna do for our run through is we're gonna use the wizard here. And we're gonna just like play against the AI and I'll showcase like, you know, the game and what it's all about. So yes, loading level one. So you use the cursor keys to move around and your goal is to collect these uh, flags of your opponent's team. If you collect them all, you basically win. And if you don't, you lose. Now there's an option here to turn Hypercall on. If you do that, then it'll give you a little bit more graphics, I guess. I'm gonna leave it on, I guess, for that point. And other than that, let's just demonstrate what's going on. So basically, this is what Hover is all about. You're basically um, in a hovercraft, going around trying to collect your opponent's flags before they collect yours. As you can see, it's got a so, sort of like, you know, uh, roguelike type of feel to it. Basically, you're, um, you're basically, you know, it's basically always the same thing, you know, the same map every single time. But you, actually, you have to go around and try and find um, where stuff is. So you have to like sort of map your, um, your game. And that's what we're gonna have to do right here. Now, there's a flag up there, and we're gonna get it by using a power up. It's called Bounce. Whoa! And by the way, there's also these doodads, which if you hit will uh, do stuff. These are bad ones right here that'll make me lose my flag. Um, one of the ones I was just hitting there was turning me around and make me, you know, go in the opposite direction, this thing right here. Basically, you know, moves you in this direction. So we'll move in this direction and get this flag up here. Whoops. I hit the wrong hockey there. Let's try that again. By the way, if you look at the uh, bottom left there, you'll see I have something called momentum. Momentum basically, you know, is like, you know, demonstrating like what way your car is moving. So your car can move in like any of the 360 directions here. I got knocked off again. And um, yeah, essentially momentum it can be like going one way and you can be trying to go the other, but you have to fight the momentum before you can go in that other direction. So in this case, you know, I have to go this way a little bit to get up here. And there we go, we got that flag finally. Let's go find a fair one and I'll get into the next level. So yeah, up, the, up above you can see that I'm trying, I have to protect my red flags from the AI. If they get them all, then I lose. If they get all theirs, I win. And that's basically you know, the gist of like, you know, the flag stuff. And there is a multiplayer available for us on this uh, this game, and um, basically a multiplayer it lets you pay, pit yourself against other players. Not, not, I haven't actually tried it, but you know it's there as an option. That that that, that make a lot of the um, stuff in here very interesting because if you look at the bottom, you see something I've got like called wall, and everyone's called cloak, and those would probably play a lot more importance in like a multiplayer for the game than it would in like against the AI. All right, let's go this way. Oh, there's my flag up there. And I just have to get all the way up there now. Now, I just hit a very bad power up there, which basically goes, makes me go very slow, so. Take a moment to get up there. There's the AI, by the way. Blue team. And yes, they show up on the map like little uh, asteroid type of ships. And he's beaten. So yeah, you did it! You Congratulations, you advanced to the next level. So let's do that. And we'll basically move to the next level. 
Now, to give you uh, an idea what the original cover was like, because this is not like the original entirely, something to know about the original game is that um, essentially it had, it had like difficulties and gradients. You essentially played the game and it got progressively tougher, but the levels themselves remained the same. And I think how they made it progressively tougher is that like, they would have it so like, uh, damn it, I missed the flag. They made it so like there's like more AIs going after flags and stuff like that. In this case, there's only one AI going after a flag for like my my flags, so I don't have to worry about it too much. But you know, in, my, in like basically the more difficult version of like you know the original hover, uh, more um, more AIs going around me like you know much higher chance of me getting to flags before I got all of theirs. And he's got two of my flags, and I've got two of his. Up oh, there's the AI right there. Got power up there to bounce. And I got shields there. Hey, there's my flag over there. And we'll fight the momentum and then get my flag. So there's level two out of the way. And level three. You know, we got a flag right next to us, and apparently one of our own flags right next to us. Let's go this way. There's a... Okay, so that power up there is like the one of the red flashing light it makes you go slow. So I'm going to avoid that, but this green one, or this scratch mark here is a random. So that gave me a booster. Move a little bit faster. There, I got a cloak. Cloak eventually basically does this, but basically means I'm visible to the AI or in multiplayer, meaning to other players. The AI doesn't really care, but the, you know, other players in multiplayer might. There's another one of my flags over there. And I'm stuck. Yep, drop down holes. Lovely things. Okay, let's get this. And then we'll move on and get the last flag. There's uh, one of my flags. I'm bouncing off my own flag there. Let's get this and speed up a little bit. Whee! I go backwards. And I go backwards again. It's not my intention to go backwards. Whee! Let's just go all the way over here, why not? Yep, they finally got one of my flags, the damn CPU. Yep, there's the uh, AI. And it's worth knowing, you can actually bump into the AI if you want to, so... I could go in here and like bump him a little bit. Because, you know, his bumper car is mixed in with like capture flag. And yeah, they get affected by those uh, things too, by the way. Hey, there's my flag. So let's get, get this and we'll just be done. Bumper cars! Whee! So, you won! Congratulations on the successful mission! Had fun? Don't forget to tell your friends. So yes, there's only three levels um, in Hover, and that's actually uh, reminiscent of the original Hover, because there's only three uh, levels in the original Hover as well. But you get the very gist of what the game is all about. Essentially, you know, it's just bumper cars with captured flag. And, you know, back in the day, this was actually a very fun game. So yes, that's pretty much it for this video, very quick. Hope you've enjoyed, and perhaps I'll have some other goodies to find. For now, take care.